a times d minus b times c. That is the determinant. That's it. There's no matrix involved. There's no nothing to multiply by. That's it. a d minus b c. That's it. So that's why the x is very useful for you. a d minus b c. That's why instead of memorizing this, people in their book, they'll see this and they'll try to memorize it. Is it A times D or is it A times C or whatever? Well, that's fine. Don't memorize that. You know, we're much better at, at looking at patterns. Just look at the square and draw an X, just like you would in the, in the alphabet, and you'll know how to take the determinant. It's not that hard, okay? That is how you calculate it, so let's go ahead and do a few. If I were going to find the determinant of the matrix 2, negative 7, negative 3, 4, how would I do it? Well, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to memorize this. I'm not going to label A, B, C, and D. I'm going to put an X with my fingers, literally. 2 times 4 minus this direction, negative 7 times negative 3. That's it. 2 times 4 minus negative 7 times negative 3. You must put the minus there or you're going to get the wrong answer, okay? So 2 times 4 is 8 minus negative 7 times negative 3 is positive 21. And you'll find that 8 minus 21 is negative 13. This is the answer. So you see it's a number, negative 13. That is the determinant of this matrix. Now, I haven't told you why it's useful. I haven't told you what it's used for. Um, but uh, I will tell you that matrix determinants have uh, application far beyond solving systems of equations. When you get into advanced calculus and other things, these determinant things pop up over and over again. But once you start dispensing with memorizing letters, it's pretty easy. Just draw an X like this, okay? Now the next one, let's say I wanted to find a determinant of negative 6 times 7, negative 1, and 4. I'm sorry, I think I may have said negative 6 times 7. This is a matrix, negative 6, 7, negative 1, 4. If I want to find the determinant of that, so in order to do that, we're just going to visualize an X. We're going to go this direction, then we're going to go this direction. Negative 6 times negative 4. I'm sorry, negative 6 times positive 4, minus, and then going this direction, is 7 times negative 1. Okay? Going like this, then going like this. 6 times 4 is 24, so it's negative 24 here, minus 7 times negative 1 is negative 7, so you're going to have negative 24 plus 7, so at the end of the day, uh, negative 24 plus 7, you're going to have negative 17, and that is the determinant. So you see, again, you arrive at a number. You don't arrive at anything complicated. So compared to finding the inverse of a matrix, this is actually very simple. Okay?